Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your mid-month reading for the second half of July. So we're moving from Cancer season into your fellow fire sign Leo season. So let's see what is coming through for you. Oh, let's just get these cards in good order. Okay, we've got four cards. We've got the moon, imagination and perception and the king of crystals, courage and commitment. Ooh, okay, I think that you've got a vision here for something you want to do financially. Perhaps this is to do with some kind of financial investment or how your money's working for you. Maybe it's to do with a job or a career. But it's like I'm actually seeing something clearly now that I want to do this. Maybe it's just an idea that hasn't taken off hasn't taken fruition just yet but I've got this really clear perception and imagination perception courage and commitment I'm wondering am I going to have the courage to commit to this so I feel like you're really sitting with something you're seeing something on the horizon so it might be you know for some of you oh I'm planning on shifting careers or I want to change my job or I'm thinking of moving or I'm thinking of like a new direction with uh, yeah, where I'm living. It's just this sense of I'm just kind of letting this sit with me for the moment. And then we've got the two of crystals, balance, adaptability, and the five of crystals, persistence and new possibilities. So the king of crystals is actually the king of pentacles and the two of crystals is the two of pentacles and the five of crystals is the five of pentacles. So we've got a lot of five of pentacles. So I feel like this beautiful owl here is just looking at everything really clearly, it's seeing everything in the dark where it used to be it was in darkness. Maybe that vision wasn't clear and this hour's going, right, now I see really clearly what these opportunities are, where I want to go because sitting next to the courage of the beautiful night hunter of the, the tiger, getting really brave, like I'm getting my courage up to be able to do this, to take this leap, like this beautiful kangaroo into a new direction into perhaps into something, taking that next step, bringing this into my world. How can I do this? How can I actually juggle this or create space for this, uh, you know, really tangibly in my life? And then the five of crystals is persistence, new possibilities, the five of pentacles. It's like this little ladybird is just climbing the tree. I'm still climbing, climbing, climbing. I need to keep trying. I'm not giving up with this. So the five of pentacles can sometimes be where you're wanting to leave a situation or something's not resonating for you. And it's very much like, I see that this is now possible. And I'm also understanding that in order to make this happen, I need to be a little bit flexible with my plans, but also don't give up on my plans just because I've got to fit it into my world at the same time. So let's pull. I feel like there's something kind of major you're shifting here, whether it's to do with your work, your career, your health, your money. There's something coming in here that is going to be a bit of a balancing act at first, but I feel like you can do it. So let's see what's shifting and changing for you, Aries. You might even be traveling between two different places or feel like your energy stretched or pulled in two different directions for a little bit with this. But it's this determination is coming in to pay off. Yeah, the cup, ace, water. So really this is what's shifting and changing. It feels like you need to fill your cup again with the cup, ace. This feels like healing. It feels like a birth of feeling differently. And also the wand, five, sun, Leo. Yeah, there's been been challenges and the challenges are it's like you haven't been shining you've lost a bit of your sheen and the cup ace says I want to give you beautiful healing Aries you yeah it's like filling your cup with something that brings you joy or happiness or healing again or a good feeling a new type of feeling so yeah it really feels like it's nice that we're moving into the sun Leo the sun will be moving into Leo and as you know, a lot of you, that the sun is exalted in your sign. So whenever the sun is in Leo, this is usually a really great time for you. It's probably the most compatible uh, season of the year for the Aries energy. So this is the time to really let yourself be energized, to let yourself fill that, that cup of yours that you need to, whatever it is that you're needing. Maybe you're feeling emotionally exhausted or maybe you're just... Uh, been dealing with a lot of stuff and you just need some time out to kind of really emotionally replenish but it feels like you've been struggling with something here and it's time for the the healing process around that 
Okay, so let's see what else is coming through for Aries. A bit of rest and recovery. Yeah, the the Four of Wands. This is, yeah, happy home, happy heart. There might be something about family or home or the people around you or the energy around you that you love that you might want to come back to. Maybe there's something going on around that. And it's like, I just need to come back to... And if this is not a physical place, I get this sense of I want to come back to my heart and replenish and come back to what it is, the foundations of my soul and spirit and what it is that I'm really trying to, uh, where I really want to be at home with my heart. So crossed by the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, yeah, you want to be filling your cup <laughs> with this beautiful Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, wanting to head off into new directions, the Wheel of Fortune, Wow. The chariot card, the fool, a lot of major arcanas around you, the three of swords. Yeah, it does feel like there's something that has come in that you've needed kind of a little bit of recovery period from. Uh, the two of pentacles, again, this, the two of pentacles is the two of crystals. The ten of wands, what have you taken on that's been really burdensome? And it's time to make plans to lighten your load a little bit. And again, the star card is peace and healing. With the eight, crowned by the Ace of Cups, I feel like there's been struggles around you, there's been heavy loads, there's been burdens, there's been something around you that perhaps has wounded you with the Three of Swords uh, and it, next to the Wheel of Fortune that expands the wounds as well. So maybe it was something that was a big wound that came in or something that was your heart really needs uh, a lot of healing from here. So I feel like it's about giving yourself that time and just coming back to home base here with the four of wands and going, what do I really need? What do I need being a fire sign and wanting to bring some kind of stability in to my world at this moment with the four of wands? This is about foundational stuff, bringing what is foundational and the most important people or things to you and really connecting with that. So somehow that is where you are filling your cup and where you're feeling replenished and feel like, yeah, it just is this energy, whether it's literal or symbolic of coming back home, feeling like I need to come back home and heal and replenish myself. Crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. So it's almost like this owl is looking out for this Ace of Pentacles, but it's crossing you at the moment, which is kind of like the message is, not necessarily about doing this at the moment. Maybe the opportunity isn't there and you're just thinking about it or you're not ready for it yet or it's too much on your plate at this moment in time because the message I'm getting is that it's about emotional replenishment and healing. So prioritise that over the feeling like you have to be starting something or doing something. It's still happening, but it's it really feels like this is it's something you can think about for a bit. In your conscious mind, we've got the Nine of Cups and this is where, yeah, this is the card of emotional fulfillment. So this is something that you're potentially needing or wanting or you're thinking about <laughs> because you're crowned by this Ace of Cups. I feel like this Ace of Cups can just pour this water into all these beautiful cups here. It's just this overflow of like I need to fill my cup again, which is really beautiful. So honour that, honour how you want to feel, honour what you need. Uh, and at the base we have the Two of Wands. So it's interesting because the Two of Wands is the Two of Fire, as you know. This is about stepping into paths unknown, taking a new direction. And deep down inside of you, it's like you already know this is what you want or you're already activating this in some way getting ready to take those next steps, even though maybe it hasn't fully, like your soul and spirit is saying yes to it. Yes, let's do this. Let's step into this. Uh, but tangibly in the material realm on the element of earth, I'm feeling like, okay, there's just some things like maybe there's just priorities or there's workload or there's people you have to look after or something in the material realm that's kind of blocking you at this moment in time. In the recent past, we do have the Wheel of Fortune and this is the card of expansion, that something in your world is ready to expand. And it could have been a change, a turning point, a change of fate, something shifted and there was a big turning point or a big shift and change that comes that came in and something was released and ready to go into a more expanded or someone was ready to go into a more expanded space. 
And there may have been some heartache around that or may have, maybe there's something about that was triggering you because it is next to that three of swords. Like maybe there, there was some loss around that or something around that, but it still felt like something needed to be freed and released. Uh, so it kind of feels like oh, I needed to let go of that or that person or that situation in my life, but it's still I need to mourn the loss of that as well. In the near future, we have the chariot card. So, yeah, this is you getting really determined in the near future. I don't, I feel like it's sort of like saying fill your cup first because you're not going to be standing, this is the charioteer, the chariot, and you're not going to be sitting still for too long. You're going to fill your cup and then you can move forward. This is a water sign as well. It's the card of cancer, the charioteer. Uh, but sometimes in one of my decks, it is actually representative of Aries, the god of war, because it's the charioteer going in. So I sometimes get an Aries vibe with the chariot as well. And But it's more of an emotional, like you're moving forward with an emotional willpower, emotional, something emotional is driving you forward. But it's also that sense of if you fill your cup, you've got the energy and determination to move something forward now, which is that that thing on the material realm that you're thinking about. So you're presenting as the full card and this is the zero. It's right at the very beginning again. It's like I start from the beginning again. I'm ready to start again or step into something really new. I'm on the precipice, the edge. And maybe you're thinking about taking, stepping into something really new or taking a risk of some sort. I feel like this owl is just looking at it really clearly. But it feels like something huge kind of got reset within you. And it's take, it is going to take a little while to process that. Uh, energy surrounding you is the Three of Swords. And this is the thing that is kind of feels like, yeah, there, there's a lot of heart healing. This is the wound coming up to be cleared. It's all the blur coming out, the abscess, uh, all the yucky stuff comes out from the wound. But it comes out so that the, because the wound is coming up to the elements ready to be healed. And so there is some kind of wound here that is needing and requesting healing in your life or somebody is wounded or there has been like something around you that felt like it was a, a big wound with that three of swords. Uh, hopes and fears we have the hanged man and the hanged man is really just wanting to make sense of the whole thing. It's the patience to see things from a new perspective. It is an awakening. It really is a sense that something huge has shifted within your heart space and now there's something new awakening within and whether you welcome that or not this is the card of hopes and fears and sometimes that can be both at once and the the hanged man does represent sacrifice as well it, it, it kind of could feel like you had to let something go and understand that you had to let that go and that was part of the it could like I said it, it's part of the the release something had to really be released so and yeah there could be, could have been some kind of heartache or loss around that or just needing to heal yourself so in the as the outcome we have the two of pentacles the ten of wands and the seven of swords you're not standing still for too long you're just getting down to work you're like right i'm moving this forward taking those next steps making this tangible next like it might be like i'm just going to look and see what this is what is the what would the next steps be so it may be a phone call or a bit of research or how is this going to work or just looking at it like logically and practically what would the next step be in terms of this thing that i'm thinking about here with the moon and the king of pentacles this vision of where I want to go and the material realm, I've kind of got this idea and then I've got all this other emotional and intuitive and deep soul healing that needs to be cleared out first. And then it's a sense of that gives you this perspective of being able to dedicate yourself to new plans and to be able to look forward to the future now in a different way with, with new plans. So it does feel like you've still got th a lot of things on your plate though. <laughs> Aries whilst you're doing this but we have as an overall energy the star card and this is about the future about being guided into a new future and this is also the card of peace and healing it's the water bearer these are the waters of deep of your soul of your spirit that need to be filled and cleaned and again we have this energy of you filling your cup and not only is it emotional but it's a deep spiritual renewal that comes through with it as well so the star card guides you 
and guides you, very strong messages are guiding you into the new future. And so, yeah, peace, healing, replenishment is coming through with the star card. So let's pull. So that's the overall energy of this. So let's, so even though there's some plans afoot and practical plans, they're just saying the overall thing is that this is a healing new direction for you. So let's pull an animal spirit energy. Wow. Okay. Tiger. Double tiger coming in. Look at that. I love it. In this particular deck, this one, it's, a, it, it's actually the King of Pentacles. This is upward pointing triangle is the fire. So this is the Aries tiger, <laughs> the fire king. So this tiger is, look at it. It's just fierce. It's the night hung, hunter. It's the protective mother. It's the trusting your intuition to go after what it is that you want here. You're not afraid. So the tiger is about courage and strength and facing fears as well. And it's saying you've got this in bucket loads at this moment in time. So harness this energy of the fire and the tiger to be able to get move forward, to harness the spirit, the energy of your soul and spirit. And it could even be really creative, the, the tiger as well, which is really beautiful. But it's just both of them, like I really love this, the two, the owl and the tiger, they're looking straight on at something. And a bit like the chariot card as well, not afraid to tackle something head on or to look at something honestly and go, okay, I'm looking directly at this situation. I'm not afraid to look at that. I'm getting, I'm trusting my perception. I'm trying to work out what reality is here and then I'm going to move forward. So it really is this beautiful energy of nothing's really stopping you here, Aries. <laughs> so let's see. Let's pull an affirmation card for you. Let's pull an affirmation card for Aries. You might actually feel really just yeah, courageous, brave, inspired is more the feeling I'm getting. So I'm just really trusting this kind of deep gut feeling in my heart that this is the right thing to do and letting that lead me along this new path, this new direction. So let's pull an affirmation card for Aries. What do we have? I prosper wherever I turn. Yep. And this feels like there's a couple of turning points here with both the two of crystals, which is the two of pentacles and the two of wands. It's like you're at those initial first steps, which are like pivot points or turning points to take those first steps. And it says, I now see opportunities for abundance everywhere. I am blessed and prospered. Beautiful. So you might start seeing things like, again, like with the those characters of the cards of looking and seeing something right in front of you, you might start seeing these new opportunities that now become tangible and you now start thinking, yeah, I could do that. I can make room for my life for that. So, and yeah, it's this feeling of blessed, feeling blessed and prospered. So that's your reading, Aries. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. I'm also on Instagram now, so please follow me. The link is floating around and in the description box below. And please take care.